Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. Hey, hey, hey. Hey everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back, guys. We're doing our lovely meal prep today. What I have in here, guys, is the pork shoulder that I purchased on my recent grocery haul. I had purchased this on quick sale. It was, let's see, it was $9.37, savings of $2.80. I simply took off the netting, cleaned it off a little bit, stuck it in my Instant Pot with some bay leaves. You can see lots of garlic, some serrano peppers, and then I have a couple ounces of onions here. And I'm gonna go ahead and put those in as well. The rest of the onions I did not use in our salad last night. All right, so we've got it going, guys. I'm gonna cover it up. Guys, if you don't have an Instant Pot, what are you waiting on? Get it, all right? Best investment. Now you'll hear that little sound go off when it's ready to be sealed and closed. There we go, I already have it in the lock position. We are doing a meet. I'm actually gonna leave, go help out with my mom for a little bit. As I've said, she's been under the weather. She's doing much better, praise God. So I'm gonna turn this up to about 122 minutes. It'll turn on and then it'll reach to pressure and then it will start cooking from those 122 minutes. So that could be another 20 minutes off. So hopefully I will be back in time right as it finishes and or at least is in the cooling mode and it'll already be um, ready for me to start using. And then we'll be ready to start shredding it apart. All right guys, check it out. All right, I've got my pork shoulder in there. It's probably gonna let it rest in the cool down mode for, I don't know, a good 30 minutes. I am cooking my yummy, yummy, yummy pork jowl bacon. Check it out, guys. I've made the first batch. I have a second batch getting ready to go. Here's what a partial first batch looks like, guys. Look at this. It's delicious. I tried making this one here in my George Foreman grill. I wasn't too fond of that. Very seldomly will you hear me say that. I'm not fond of cooking in my George Foreman grill. Works better, most likely, on a skillet or air fryer, all right? Now, these here, if you're gonna cut thick slices, go for it in your George Foreman grill. But, but here, on these pre-sliced, um, no, I would say skillet and or air fryer or oven, of course, all right? So again, here it is, oh, look at that. It is a cross between bacon and ham, guys. I'm telling you right now, it's a different flavor and richer because of all the fat. All right, so let's go ahead and put this down, guys. So we've got more in our air fryer here. And in between each batch, as I cook it, I do save the drippings. So here is what I have from, what, eight slices, something like that. And let me show you this, guys. So here's the container, let me get rid of that. Here's what it renders. And I have been keeping my bacon drippings as well as my pork jowl drippings and cooking with that. So look how clear that is, guys. Yeah, got me. All right, so we've got this going. You saw that I also got some of the pork loin. I went ahead and cooked it up for Matthew um, in the drippings. That way it had nice flavor to it. And then guys, over here you can see I'm gonna make some more melts. These are gonna be like mini melts, mini deli melts. And I will go ahead and use the balance of my uh, sauerkraut so it doesn't go bad. Here's the Swiss cheese from my recent haul. And let's look at the stove. All right, guys, here is the chicken that I purchased. I am going to be making my arroz con pollo. If you haven't seen my arroz con pollo recipe, check in the upper right-hand corner. Delicious, guys. And then here are my deli melts. This is with the corned beef. And so these are almost ready to flip over. Again, if you've not seen a recipe for this, specifically the Rubens, check in the upper right hand corner. I'll leave a link to that. And uh, my, again, the greatest suggestion I can give to you is to start off in a warm skillet, guys. Uh, and also, don't put them in one by one. Go ahead and prepare all of them. Put them in the skillet at once. That way you don't have some that are melting and some that aren't. All right, so that's just my tip. All right, guys. Uh, I'll see you as we get a little further along in the milk prep. Hey everybody, so I have flipped over my chicken. So we're browning the second side of the chicken. Check out these deli melts. Oh my gosh, guys. <laughs> these here, I have to say for David, those will be his favorite pieces. Because why? They've got a good skulls on them. You've heard me use that phrase before. David and his skulls, it's just the best thing ever. All right, guys, it's steaming. All right, I hit the release button. We've got that over here. And let me show you this. On the pastrami, 
because this cheese here is a little bit on the thick side and is going to have a hard time staying closed, what I opted to do is just go ahead and create a layered melt. So I have the pastrami, then I have a piece of cheese, I have the sauerkraut, another piece of cheese, and another piece of pastrami. We'll try it that way, see how it works. It is a marathon of Bravo's Southern Charm. I know guys, I am a Bravo-holic, sad but true reality TV. I'd much rather watch than, I don't know, regular TV. Kind of crazy, but Bravo is my thing. Let me know what you guys love to do when you are meal prepping. All right guys, we are testing out the Daily Melt, see if it works. I may need two hands for this. I don't know, be easier with one. Let's flip it. I think it's gonna be fine, guys. Yeah. Deli milk protein style. Ooh, check out this double meat. Deli melts. I'm excited about these guys. I've got plans for you. I do. You saw that in my grocery haul, I had two heads of cauliflower, very small heads, by the way. So I went ahead and used both of those. A few pieces went to the pups, because as you know, my pups love their cauliflower. So in here, guys, I have all of the traditional seasonings, the cumin, the garlic, uh, the onion powder, the celery salt, fresh cilantro, and um, all the yumminess. I'll also be putting some cumin in there. If you want the exact skies, go check out my um, video, all right? And, um, whoo guys, so I actually um, omitted fresh onions and I'm using the um, chopped onions that are from a jar. That way I can reduce some of my carbs on this meal. It is a carby meal and you will always want to add fat to this. It's great to serve this with avocado as well as sour cream, some queso fresco, some um, crema, whatever it is. Get your fat content up on this and be sure when you're making this, use your thighs, legs, new thighs or legs no breasts guys that's too much white meat and it doesn't have enough fat so there you go funny thing happened on the way to meal prepping i lost two pieces of chicken my son matthew mom those look good can i have some sure baby so my meal prep is now reduced to six pieces of thighs but that's all right still gonna taste great so i have some reserved uh juice and drippings i didn't use everything in the, in the container so i'm gonna go ahead and pour in the juice and guys, we're gonna go ahead and cover this, let it cook. I went ahead and finished out the last bit of my pork jowl in the stove. So we'll see how that cooks up in comparison to the air fryer and the, and the um, George Foreman grill. And we'll be testing it out very shortly in the microwave. All right guys, meal prep coming along. All right guys, so we have the pork shoulder in here. I went ahead and let it cool off. There we go. Here it is, look at that yumminess. We're gonna go ahead and transfer this to a bowl and work on getting it shredded up. Let's see how it looks. Matthew used my tongs so they're dirty. That's what it looks like, guys. All right, I'm gonna get it in the bowl. Here we go. And then start shredding it. Guys, here we are wrapping up our meal prep for the day, probably until the next meal prep, guys. I have a few more things to do but I'll just kind of do it as time frees up. So here we are guys, here is the pulled pork. I'll show you what I did with the broth in a moment. Here is all of that wonderful pork jowl bacon, guys. Look at that, yummy. Here's some bacon that I cooked just the other day with um, the pork loin that I made for Matthew. On this uh, pork loin, guys, great to chop it up. Cook it with your eggs in the morning and make yourself a nice little egg omelet with this. Here are some of the roll-ups, guys. I made this like two days ago, so here's a couple leftovers. This is what's left of mine from the couple days. Here we are, and then here are the, and then here are the little Sammies. Look at that, isn't that cute? So we have these two containers. Here is some bacon drippings, pork jowl bacon drippings. I filled up the other one. Here's what's left on this one. So I actually save all the broth, guys, just because I don't know how I'm gonna cook all of the uh, pork shoulder. And so it's nice to have the juice to cook with it. I strain it as I'm pouring it out. And then you'll just see how clear the broth is. All right, guys. Oh, wait a minute. What happened to the chicken? If this was arroz con pollo with real rice, this would be a disaster. When you open up your lid and you see that your rice is, um, isn't fully cooked and 
or partially cooked and it's not going to cook anymore and there's tons of liquids or not enough liquid it's never a good thing with your rice collie rice it's not a bad thing guys so i will actually just let this continue to cook down a little bit with the lid off and it will absorb that into the rice and we will be good to go with a delicious meal guys so i'm gonna let this set up then i and cool off and then put everything in the fridge and we were done with meal prep Alright guys, have a blessed day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. Alright guys, have a great day. Bye-bye. Choice Wednesday, it's Onito. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rinds, pork rinds, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah. I <laughs> did.